what I found in the middle of nowhere in Jakarta. Of course it has nothing to do with Milan, it's just the name. I'm just changing small change because I have to pay the taxi and I don't have cash. Okay. So this is the first time I come to a supermarket called Grand Lucky. Where below the furniture shop and they have a software also next to it so it's very very practical Australian organic almond milk and I found the maple syrup now I buy regularly and I got this I put on the shelf on my wall these are cashew nuts that uh, have been dried in the sun because I don't have dehydrator this one also the whole one still so to make uh, cheese or to mix with my raw food uh, preparing the dessert My living room from the porch. Seen here while I am feeding a meat morning meal for boo 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 boo. Oh, I bought some more food yesterday, and he loves this one. This dry seafood. <laughs> it's a bit cloudy. This is from the right side of the around the old porch where I'm sitting like that and Boo Boo just finished his little meal or snack Boo Boo you want to look at me Boo Boo look okay it doesn't work good morning today is Thursday 5th of April 2018 I already took uh, some footage on my outing yesterday so I'm going to vlog that on and uh, I'm a little bit startled because on my awning seems like a cat I think jumps on it and uh, yes and the cashew nuts have been dried under the sun instead of dehydrator because I don't have dehydrator and um, yeah I'm going to prepare uh, some desserts raw food desserts today because the cashew nuts I'm going to make like parmesan cheese out of it you can also make cheeses actually but you have to first uh, uh, ferment, ferment it and I don't have time but I will try in the a near future to make cheese out of the the cashew nuts and yes and some desserts to prepare with the cashew nuts so yesterday it was a very very strange uh, uh, feeling I had before going to this place to explore this um, mall like where they have a nice furniture shop and they have Ace Hardware also below it and this Grand Lucky Supermarket that I ne I've never been as a chain. I, I think was, I have been there actually, f what, f five years ago, but very, uh, you know, briefly. So anyway, and uh, when I just arrived there, you know, I cashed some money and that was it went about my way and then just before I left I cast one more time and little did I know when I reached home luckily I was just checking into my purse then it came to my realization that I didn't have the credit card anymore it wasn't no, it was nowhere to be found so I realized oh my god I must have left it at the ATMs you know where you uh, insert the card and then I must have forgotten to 
take it out when it was done because I was, uh, you know, focused on taking the money and the receipt. So anyway, <laughs> it was already around seven o'clock, so it was already dark here. And out of my panic, I called two uh, Uber car, but they call it here Go Car because I think Uber car doesn't really have uh, too much success here. So I didn't realize that I have called uh, two taxis, but the first taxi came and suddenly, you know, I went out of the house to reach the car and uh, my gardener, my security man said, oh, the driver just uh, went out to check the street because somebody told him that uh, he has hit a cat. Oh my God, I said, oh, of course, of course, go and check, go and check. He was already checking on the, on the, on the other side of my uh, house, so it's not in front of my house, but in front of the other houses. I don't know where exactly. So anyway, I went back to the house and then when I went out, I said, so it's done. So uh, it didn't hit, right? You didn't hit the cat. And then the driver so nonchalantly said, yes, I did hit, uh, but the cat is already in the car. In other words, in other words, it was dead and he was ready to go and bury, but he, of course, being responsible because, you know, I don't know in your country, in, in Indonesia also, when you hit a cat, that's bad. <laughs> so he tried to be responsible. He, you know, apparently took the body of the cat and put it in the car and he said, okay, uh, let's, uh, you know, I'm ready now, let's go. I said, what? No! I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 no. Please, please, I said, I'll pay you, don't worry, I'll pay you, you know, for coming here, I'll pay you. So as I was, you know, rummaging for my uh, small chains, and then he just, you know, stopped me and said, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, uh, no problem, no problem, you don't have to pay. Oh my God, and he, of course, he just left. He was so kind, you know, without any complaints, he just, you know, decided to leave. And wow, 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 what a weird thing, you know, <laughs> to, to have witnessed that so that was one story then uh, luckily I forgot that I made a mistake by calling two cars so the other car arrived also and it was just uh, you know just so uh, uh, opportune you know uh, uh, time because I needed the car right away to go to the to check for my ATM card so I, we went there I asked my housekeeper to go with me because I was scared alone since you know the, the road to go there is you know you can take the shortcut but it's you know going uh, among the you know dark roads I think you know in the daytime it's okay but not in the night because I'm not familiar with it so we went and of course we didn't find the card you know the, 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 the people were trying to help by saying uh, let, 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 let us ask the security department maybe somebody must have uh, you know found it and then given to the security people and uh, no uh, somebody of course had taken that card sorry uh, it's the humidity so uh, okay so that was it so uh, luckily you know I also bought a pair of glasses and I when I tried home uh, I thought there was somebody coming. Uh, uh, you know, it was too much. It was too, too, too strong for me to read the prescription. S and I've opened it already. So when I went to the shop to return it without the receipt, because I left the receipt at home, and, uh, you know, there was no package anymore. Oh, my God, they managed to, you know, allow me to, allow me to change to, to do the prescribed uh, glasses that I needed so that was great and you know I must share with you that um, you know through experiences when you are faced with something um, you know out of your control I learned that the best thing to do is to become to become not to panic. Yes, you can be startled, you can be surprised, you can be shocked and all that, but calm down. Just go inside yourself and just comfort yourself and 
make uh, the right rationalization to you, like what I did yesterday with the credit card. I said it's only a credit card, you know. So um, I learned that in this past five years or four years, not five years, four years, that when something big happen that shocks your core or that takes you out of your control, that makes you out, feel out of control, just switch off every distractions, every thoughts in your mind and just calm down. Just calm down and go within yourself and see the rationalization out of that very situation. So that's it for my vlog today. I hope you don't mind that it's been late in uh, delivering twice a week. So I think this one, I think it's already 10 days late or something like that. So hope you're having a nice weekend soon as of tomorrow and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and of course, you know, if you enjoy, if you see something positive out of my every video or some entertaining, uh, you know, uh, quality out of my uh, simple, simple videos, please uh, subscribe or, you know, I'm open to your suggestions or, uh, on how to, you know, improve 